We're with the Aberdeen Ironbirds, and we're sitting down with Dalton Hoyles, who is, of course, the son of Chris Hoyles, former Orioles catcher. Dalton, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you, of course, I'm sure get a lot of comparisons, a lot of questions about your father playing here in Aberdeen, just up the road from Baltimore. How often do fans come to you and, and ask about uh, your dad? Uh, pretty frequently, yeah. I mean, uh, the fans here, they all know who he is. So uh, even when I sign autographs here, they'll say, uh, we're going to hang this one up next to your dad's ball. And they, they got a while ago. So, I mean, it's a pretty proud moment. But uh, even on the even on the road games, people will come up to me and ask if there's any relation. Yeah, I'm his I'm son. <laughs> yeah. They, they, kind of, they kind of freak out. Some of them freak out. Some of them are like, oh, yeah, I watched him. He was my favorite player back in the 90s. So it's kind of a proud moment for sure. Nice. And you wear his number, of yep. course. Yep. Uh, what does that mean to be able to carry on the legacy wearing the same number as your dad? Uh, it's, it's an awesome moment wearing a 23, wearing the black and orange that came too. So, uh, I'm just kind of just going about things wearing a two, three. Uh, I mean, I know he's proud of me, so I'm just trying to represent the 23 best I can. So, I mean, I think it's worked so far, but we'll see. <laughs> I know. Uh, so growing up as you playing catcher, do you think that that gives you kind of a different perspective? They say catchers think the game deeper than almost anybody. Do you think that that gives you a little bit more knowledge as you play the outfield? Um, I'd say hitting in, in the hitting perspective uh, okay. because yeah. I mean obviously I was calling pitches so I know what pitchers are gonna throw I know what what like what counts if like if I'm late on a fastball I'm probably gonna get another fastball mm -hmm. uh, if I'm deep in the count I'm sure I mean I kind of have idea what, what the catcher's gonna call but uh, as an outfield, out, outfielder no not too much because the hitting being catcher kind of helps a little bit <laughs> yeah 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 I sure. can imagine and how much has this coaching staff Kevin Bradshaw how have you gelled with them, um, you know, getting to play more games than a lot of the other guys who might just, you know, get have gotten drafted this year and they have to jump on it late, but you've had a little bit more time to gel with this coaching staff. What do you think of Bradshaw? Oh, I love, I love uh, KB. Uh, he's a supportive coach for sure. Um, if, you're, if you're low, he'll bring you back up. If you're high, he'll keep you even keeled. Uh, but other than that, Tom Eller here, uh, I worked with him in the offseason a little bit in Hartford. So we, we scrimmaged him a little bit in uh, Shimmonsburg, so I, so I was kind of familiar with him. But other than that, the coaching staff's great. They're, uh, they keep you, when you're down, they, keep, they bring you up, and it's, it's an awesome feeling. Nice. Hopefully have playoffs around the corner. You guys are fighting for that last yeah. spot, either in the division or in the wild card. How much would it mean to make the, the playoffs here? I mean, it'd be good for, good for the Ironbirds and good for the fans that come to the game. So it'd be a pretty, pretty big, proud moment for sure. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys reach that. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> Next couple yeah. games are going to be We're trying. important. We're yeah. trying. Dalton Hoyles joining us here on top of the dugout with the Aberdeen Ironbirds.